We have got the biggest OMG moments from The Bachelor. Did Corinne finally get sent home? Oh, and your new Bachelorette is confirmed. All that and more on today's Bachelor Episode 7 Rundown. Today's episode of DHR is brought to you by Intuit TurboTax. Relax, there's TurboTax. Ah, uh, The Bachelor is all the buzz. I'm addicted. Everywhere you turn, it has infected our office as well. <laughs> Clever is- Infected is, is the- Perfect choice of words. <laughs> but seriously, we are a part of Bachelor Nation. So it is true. happening. We can't stop watching. Uh, last night, there was a lot of island dates happening, and a lot of women opened up their hearts, and one maybe opened up her legs. Oh. So last night, Nick took six of the final ladies from St. Thomas to Bimini, Bahamas. They were all so excited about going to Bimini, and I was like, I've never even heard of Bimini. <laughs> I don't know why they're so excited. But anyway, it was this epic, kind of tropical vacation that didn't really end so well for everyone. But let's start with the good first off, Vanessa. She got her first one-on-one -on -one date in the Bahamas, and after a romantic yacht ride, she professes that she is, you guys, falling in love, which is a huge deal for her, uh, with Nick because, you know, she's, she's a sweet girl. She's had a lot of trouble in her past relationships, so this was really, really big. But Nick said the one thing you never want to hear when you tell someone that you love them. He said, um, I really, really like you. And so she was so upset about this, literally <laughs> pouted the rest of the date. I was felt so, so bad for her. But then meanwhile, back at the house, Corinne and all the other girls, mostly Corinne, let's be real, <laughs> was talking about how Vanessa just doesn't seem like she's too deep. Besides the fact that she works with special needs kids, she's a teacher and she speaks like a bi billion languages. I don't know, I think she's the one to watch, and I think that's why Corinne well, first, was hating on first her. First of all, he cannot say he loves you to anyone. He's dating multiple women. So she can't feel bad about that. She has to know he is on a reality TV show as well as herself. So it's just like... <laughs> Stop using logic, Rylan. This I, is The Bachelor. I, I just don't understand, Aaron. And then next up, uh, the fishy group date. Nick surprises the girls by taking them swimming with sharks, like in real life. No cages which seems a little too relevant for this show. Then Corinne gets super insecure and goes a little bit crazy jealous over Nick giving attention to Christina. All right, moving on to the next OMG moment. During the next one-on-one -on -one date, Nick shockingly sends the first girl of the episode home, America's sweetheart, Danielle M., right after she professes she's falling for him. I'm going home today. <laughs> This is the end of the road for Nick and I. So I wish you all good luck in finding love. I need to go before I totally lose it. Okay, I shouldn't be laughing because it's not funny, but the saddest part about her, Danielle, and going home is literally right before he dumped her, she looks to camera and says, the last time I loved someone, he died. And then she gets sent home after she tells Nick that she loves him or whatever. It was not funny, but it was the it was so sad. See, I just don't know what's real anymore though, because I watch Unreal on Lifetime. Right. So I know what these producers are doing behind the scenes because that show is obviously real. Right. I just don't know if this is him or the producers, but no matter what, it is good television. Like even though it's at her expense, yeah. it still cannot take your eyes off the television TV. That's true. I thought you were gonna say that they faked that her boyfriend died just for the storyline. Well, that would be dark. Dark. All right, so I also wanna talk about how Corinne is freaking out about Nick's unpredictable behavior and attempts to seduce Nick in his hotel room just to secure one of those hometown dates. I know how to make a man feel good. Come, let's go to your room for a second. And I do it way better than anyone else because my heart is gold, but my regime is platinum. Close the door. Erin, here's where it gets crazy though. Yeah. Right when it gets really steamy, Nick actually turns her down because he knows that if they were to do anything, she would go home and tell all the women yes. and then it would ruin 
everything before the hometown date. Yeah, I love that a lot of people online were speculating because she was whispering to him. She's like, okay, we're gonna play a game. She's like, put two hands on, all, you have to have both hands on at the same time. You can't jiggle, you have to massage. <laughs> and everybody's like, I wonder what that was about. And I'm like, of, of course I know what that's about. <gasps> you guys, just use your imagination. She's all kinds of crazy and I like it. All right, but there is a hilarious gif or jif, however you want to say it, circulating on Twitter of Corinne leaving the hotel and you'll see the automatic doors are opening right in front of her face, but she decides to take the hard way out. I watched this on repeat probably three or four times. <laughs> it's the best. I actually think the Bachelor Twitter account tweeted out something like, no one could ever say that Corinne doesn't try to take the long road or something like that. It was so funny. Uh. And speaking of Nick's unpredictable behavior, it happened again. I understand why Corinne was freaking out because Nick has been doing this all season, just like not even getting to the rose ceremony and just being like, you know what? I suddenly don't feel something for her. I'm gonna break up with her right now. And he did that last night with Christina, which is so strange because they had so much chemistry together on the yacht with the sharks and all of that jazz. But you know what, he he didn't want to drag her along and he was he was crying, it was very emotional because I do feel like he felt something for her, but he basically said to her, listen, I feel more for other girls. You deserve better than me keeping you around because I only feel like a little bit for you versus like more than I feel for other girls. And the poor girl, this girl has been through a lot. She was basically dropped off at an orphanage by her mom and she grew up in an orphanage and it's just so sad and I really liked her. She seemed like one of the most normal girls out of the bunch, but alas, she's gone. This show is heartbreaking and I don't think I could take it mentally. I couldn't be on the <laughs> show because I think it would mess with uh, my mind. What about if you were the producer or one of the producers? Oh, well, oh, I also so know what dark. that's like from Unreal. <laughs> on Lifetime, hit it up. <laughs> Moving on to our last OMG moment. I'm this is so excited. seriously shocking. Yeah. I cannot believe it. Also, I'm so excited. So last night on Jimmy Kimmel Live, there was some news of history making Bachelor at drama. Okay, so it's not really drama, but Rachel Lindsay was revealed to be the first African-American lead for the show ever in 12 seasons of The Bachelorette and 21 seasons of wow. The Bachelor. So Rachel, she was a fan fave this season, getting the first impression rose from Nick. But Aaron, yeah. the tea is yeah. What's that the tea? it's weird because she's still on the show. Right, so I watched a little behind the East Coast feed last night and then this was announced on Twitter and I was like, wait a minute, maybe the end of this episode he cuts Rachel but he had so much chemistry with her, I was like, there's no way that's gonna happen. So I got to the end of the show and I was like, what happened? So Rachel's still on the show? This has never ever happened but before. Now we know that she's know. going to get sent home. I so know. it's a spoiler alert for everyone. I wish they would have just waited a I week. Hopefully, too. like now she'll probably go home next week. They should have just done this on Jimmy Kimmel a week from I now. I don't understand the reasoning and the thought processes behind this, but I love her. This makes me so happy. Yeah. She's incredible. I did want to see her with Nick. She actually Did you? I did. I really did. She's great. She and Vanessa are my top two favorites. Right. I'm a Korean um, boy myself. Uh, yeah, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> Some kind of crazy, you know? <laughs> but Rachel has been my favorite since the beginning. I want to be more like Rachel when I grow up. She's smart. She's eloquent. She's kind. She um, has a good job. She has a good job. She has a, she can make money. You know, <laughs> that's really all I look forward to partner. But um, I'm so excited for her. This is going to be huge for her. Yeah, I'm into it. All right, Iran. I know. I want to do some predictions because you know we can't stop talking know, about it. I Who know. do you think is going to win the heart of Nick? My bracket is all screwed up when he let go of Danielle L. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> she was supposed to make it to the top and she didn't. But now we have, there's only three left since Rachel's not going to be on the show. It's going to be Corinne, which I can't believe that I'm saying. <laughs> Corinne, Vanessa, who I love, and um, oh, Raven, the Southern girl. She's so Southern. Does anyone find love on this show? You know, yes. Yeah, like the first season, okay, uh, Trisha and what's his name? Twelve years yeah, ago. Uh, yeah, but they're still together. They have family. They like are happy. Uh, um, Trisha and Ryan, or something. Yes. Tristan and Ryan. I don't Trista. know. Trista, Tristan, Ryan. Right. Gosh, it's just been a minute. <laughs> Twelve years ago, I was just in the womb. Don't judge me. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you can find love, and I do think that love is either going to happen with Vanessa or Raven. Mm -hmm. Raven is um, great, but I think she's too cool for this. 
I think she doesn't, she cares, but she doesn't care enough to actually be bothered by it, which tells me she's not so connected emotionally. She just wants to get the Insta followers so she can get some brand deals afterwards. <laughs> I know, I don't think so. She's like a really nice girl, but I think she's like, you know what, if he doesn't want me, then I'm not gonna try to like, convince him to want me, but Vanessa is really in love with him. You can tell every time she looks at him, she wants to be with Nick, and I really feel like the two of them have something special, so I'm holding on hope for Vanessa, but who knows, well, you know? I liked Rachel, but now I know that she's so long. <laughs> Moving uh, up and on to bigger, play, better things. Just playing devil's advocate, I'm just gonna say Corinne for fun. Since you took the other two, I'll take Corinne. She's some kind of crazy and I'm into You know it. what, so, several episodes ago, I would have said that you're crazy, but you might want to put $20 on that, you guys. That's mm -hmm. crazy, so. They, they could get a reality show spinoff. If they get married, um, then somebody will want to do a reality oh, show. So if sure. they want to stay on reality television, she's the choice. I mean, I know she's going to go on Paradise, but I would love to see a Corinne Nick solo reality show. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, are you a part of Bachelor Nation? Do you have a favorite girl of the top three, Raven, Vanessa, and Corinne? Who do you want to see? get proposed to by Nick. Oh, you guys got to start after. talking in the comment section below. And also, we haven't really talked about The Bachelor or Bachelorette much yeah. on Clever before. So if you like this, let us know and we'll keep serving up the tea. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this episode and we will see you back here tomorrow. For more, click left to see Selena Gomez diss Donald Trump at a Grammys after party. Or click right for a recap of the best moments from the award show. This episode is brought to you by Intuit TurboTax with live on-demand help when you need it. Relax, there's TurboTax.